Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've been getting quite a lot of requests from you guys to do some testing fashion videos, which basically means I go online and I do a big old haul from a brand that's maybe not as reputable as ASOS. And I really, really wanted to do it because just first off, I want to shout out to Patricia Bright because when she does this in her videos, they are so, so funny. I love watching them. She's probably my favorite YouTuber at the moment, but I do feel like I have a totally opposite style to Patricia. So I really wanted to put my own spin on this video with my style. I sent a tweet out saying which fashion brands would you like me to test and quite a few of you guys said Shein and when I went online like there was so many nice things I can't even begin to tell you I was on the website for so long first of all I'd like to say that I was really impressed with the choice they had so much and so many like different styles as well and they have stuff like you'll see when I open it that I can't get on the high street like a styles of dresses that just aren't on the high street right now that is so so my style so i was so so happy looking through the prices they are quite cheap um but not everything is crazy cheap some things are more expensive than others i'll go through and i'll tell you how much everything was the prices were low enough that i'm not expecting a huge amount from the quality i'm kind of expecting them to feel a bit cheap and you know not such nice fabrics and stuff but i'm hoping that i'm going to be proved wrong fingers crossed because some of the things i ordered are so so pretty and the thing that i wasn't so impressed with was the shipping um, it took so long to come I had express shipping which was free because of how much I spent express shipping that's the fast one but it still took nearly two weeks to come which I just don't really think is cool I think in 2017 in the age of next day delivery two weeks like there is just no excuse for it I really don't think even if it comes from China which apparently it doesn't apparently they have warehouses um, all over the world including Europe and your items get shipped from the warehouse closest to you so I have no idea where my items came from I just know that they took two weeks I also had one thing that was shipped separately from the rest and it arrived on a different day I have no idea why um, but that wasn't really too much of an inconvenience I cannot even like pick this box up to show you it's so heavy but I'm gonna unbox it we're gonna do a haul and I'm also gonna try them on for you so you can get my first impressions so I really hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel down below if you are new I've just been waiting for like two weeks to film this video. I'm so excited. Obviously, by the way, I'm going to return some of this because I can't keep it all. Just putting it out there before everyone says, you spend so much money on nothing. Um, I'm going to return stuff. So this is the first thing. And this is the Shein bow tie neck frayed trim tweed dress. And this was £18.65. So yeah, pretty cheap. They all have really random prices on as well. It's not like £20, it was £18.65. So kind of random. Okay, so first impressions on this dress is really pretty. It actually does look like how it looked online. So that's a really good start because sometimes you never know. It doesn't feel magnificent quality, but it's not hideous. It's not the absolute worst. It's kind of thin and I think it is a little bit see-through. However, it's so, so pretty that I would probably just deal with the fact that it's a bit see-through and just make sure I'm wearing flesh coloured underwear because um, I could not find a dress like this. Zara occasionally do stuff like this but they often try to make them a little bit edgy rather than just keeping them completely classic which is what this is. It's so cute. It's like a little Chanel dress. I definitely will keep this. I mean I'm gonna try it on. Let's see how it looks. So good start, good start. I was actually worried they were not gonna look anything like they did online and that just <laughs> would have been horrible. This is so pretty. I love this dress. I actually love this dress. It's super super cute. It feels a little bit like itchy around here where it's tight but it is definitely bearable um, for like how cute the dress is. I love the little bow and it just is a nice fit. This is an extra small so it's nice and snug like around here and then it just kind of like sticks out slightly. It's just so cute. It looks so chic. It's just it's just a really pretty dress and for the price I paid for it I'm really impressed. Um, love the little fringing here. Also I've just noticed that it doesn't have any tags which is a bit weird but not a problem. Ooh okay next. I hope these are nice please let these be nice. So next I have some shoes. So these have a bit of a story. Basically when I was in LA I was shopping and I kept on seeing these boots in Bloomingdale's and they were these boots they were so perfect literally like 
if I was a boot, like that would be me. But the brand um, I didn't think was the kind of brand that maybe I should support and I didn't know if I would offend people by buying this particular pair of shoes. Um, in fact, many people I know for a fact would have been offended. Whether they should be or not, I'm not sure because it's just not really my place to say, but I decided against it because I was just like, better not. So I've been on the hunt like to see if I can find some similar because they really were just the perfect shoes. And I saw these on Sheen and I was like, no. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, I think they're cute. I think they're cute. They're not as good as the ones in Bloomingdale's, but they are cute. Okay, are you ready? These little booties. Okay, so the problem is for me that the heel is super chunky. The ones in Bloomingdale's, they had a really dainty heel. It was really feminine and pretty. This is a bit like clunky, but they're the best copy that I found. In terms of the shoe, okay, let's be honest. From afar, that looks pretty good. Close up, like it's not perfect. Where like the sole is kind of stuck onto the shoe, it kind of just looks like it's been super glued on. It's not seamless. It doesn't look great. It does look cheap when you look close up. Oh, that's the reason they have funny, funny prices. It was $40. So it was $40, converts as 31 pounds and nine pence, which to be honest, these for 30 pounds are not that great. I do feel like you could go to Zara or Topshop um, and find shoes that are made better than these for that price. So I'm kind of disappointed with them, but I feel like, are they still worth a chance? Should I take a chance on them? Because they are really, really pretty and yeah, they're super cute. Okay, so next I have this, which is the Contrast Feather Sleeve Textured Dress. And I can already tell that I'm not gonna like this just by looking at it. Ugh. Oh my God, this is actually such a shame because the feathers are so nice. Oh, this is so annoying. This was only like 15 pounds. And I'm gonna be honest with you, just the way it feels, I just hate it. I just wanna put it straight back in the box. It's just like the most horrible fabric ever. It is textured, but it's just like, it just feels so cheap and like it would just be sweaty and it's not soft. It's just, oh, it's just horrible. And I'm kind of sad because I think that feather detail is super cute. Hell no, like it's Terrible. It's not flattering. Look how this does not look good. It doesn't make my body look nice. This is just like kind of weird. I love the idea of this dress. I just wanted it to be not like toilet paper material. You can see my knickers, which isn't always the worst. I'm just gonna say a lot of Zara stuff is see-through too, so it's not a dig at Shein. This is next, and I think I know what this is. I think this is a jacket that kind of like went with the dress. It's like a two-piece. So let's see what it's like. Ooh, okay. Do you know what? I'm a little bit disappointed because I thought that it was feathers and it's actually this like, you know, like this kind of sheepy, fake sheepy skin, which is not really my thing. I thought it was feathers and I feel sad, but it's not horrible. It's the same fabric as the dress. So it's like this off-white ivory kind of tweed with all this gold like metallic thread running through, which is very pretty. And then it has this faux fur on the sleeves and on the bottom of the jacket. And you know what? This is actually really cute. And like the dress, the fabric does not feel magnificent, but it doesn't feel totally horrendous. It says that it was um, 30 pounds in the sale. And to be honest, I wouldn't really recommend paying more than 30 pounds for this. I think that is generous however i do think it's very very cute and again i do think like you would struggle to find something like this on the high street or in like our mainstream chains that we have in england at least okay so here's the jacket with the skirts so i've pulled the bow out it's so nice it actually is lovely it's a little bit small i'm not sure what size i got i love the faux fur it just looks so wintry and princessy and looks lovely with this dress the quality is not perfect um but it's definitely adequate and i just love the style it looks so cute so i'm actually so excited to show you these um Basically, I think one of the things that Shein is kind of getting a bit more known for is the fact that they literally copy designer bags. Like, I don't know how they get away with it. They literally copy them exactly. How 
how did they get away with it? They have no shame. And I was looking through and they actually have duped two bags that I have the real version of. So I thought it'd be really fun to buy them um, and do a comparison. Okay, so I'm just unwrapping the first one. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you ready? Ta-da! It's the Chloe Drew bag, except it's not. It's a Shein. What do they even call it? Let's actually see what they call this bag. It's the Shein saddle bag with chain. <laughs> so it's the saddle bag with chain and it was £24 and 10 pence. Okay, so here is the real deal and here is the copy. Ignore the size um, because this Chloe bag does come in this size. Obviously they have just completely copied this bag. How on earth they get away with it, I really have no idea. Um, quality wise, you know, this is not a patch on this. You can just feel it with your eyes closed. You know, it's, the quality is just second to none, which is what you pay for. But then again, the bag is over a thousand pounds, which is crazy. So if you don't have that to spend, which I imagine you don't, um, because most people wouldn't, this, is this a suitable alternative? Yes, it looks it looks nice. It feels horrid, but it looks nice. Um, it does actually come with a chain that you have to put on yourself. This is a suitable alternative if you are so in love with the Chloe bag and you love the way it looks. It does feel very, very cheap. The metal looks cheap. It's not shiny at all. It's very kind of like almost matte. Um, you can just like, look how shiny this one is. Like, just look how shiny this one is and like that, yeah. But the bag is is cute, it is. So if you are desperate for the Chloe bag but it's out of your price range, like, this is cute. It's, like, this is sweet. It, it's, I mean, yeah, this is hysterical. <laughs> this is crazy, but there, they, there it is, so yeah. I guess the quality is what you may expect from a £25 bag, except I still think that's maybe a little bit overpriced. <laughs> okay, now for the next bag, which is described as the snake head detail chain bag. <laughs> this is making me giggle because I just don't know how to get away with it. How? How? Oh my god. Are you ready? <laughs> wow. Wow. I don't even know what to say about this. I just, I'm just astounded really that they can do it. So this is a copy of the um, Bulgari Serpenty bag, Serpenty Forever. To be honest, actually, it's probably just because I'm used to the real thing that I can tell the difference, but it doesn't feel that horrible. Obviously it's like this PU plastic faux patent leather um, bag. So if that's your thing, like some people do actually like that. And actually the more I'm looking at it, the less bad it is. I think it's just because I was expecting something else in my head and I saw this I was like whoa. But actually it's not that bad. It does not look like the real thing just because you can just tell with all of like the kind of piping and you know it, it just does look cheap but it's not horrific. I'll show you the real one. I don't have it in white, I have it in red um, but you'll kind of get the idea. So this is the real deal. And I think you can get them in patent. So this is just not, this is just normal like matte leather. Um, so as you can see, like pretty much the design of like the piping is pretty much identical. The snake is, yeah, the snake is identical. They've gone for the exact same snake head. The chain is different. The chain of this is really nice because it is like a kind of snake with scales. Um, this is just like a normal chain. These bags are a small fortune. So, I mean, if you like the style, this is not heinous. It's it's not. Um, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't use this. But I'm like kind of half impressed. I don't want to be, but I am. So they were the only two bags that I actually had the real version of, but I did buy a couple more bags just for fun, which I'll show you afterwards, because um, I'm going to show you some more clothes now. Um, I got this skirt because I just thought it looked really, really pretty. And this is the box pleated suede skirt, which was £11.66, which is $15. So, you know, very cheap. So here it is. 
it's actually really cute again it looks exactly how it looked online um no nasty surprises it has a nice like concealed zip at the back which i always appreciate because i often find with like cheaper items of clothing they don't bother like sewing in the zip it's just like there which does not look that good the suede or the faux suede obviously actually feels very soft the box pleats are really nice it just needs a little bit of an iron there is a little bit of a stitching issue at the bottom that makes it look cheap it really hasn't been hemmed very well at all look there's a couple like loose threads there i think for like 11 pounds that skirt's actually very really really nice so i just put this on and it's actually shorts it's actually a skirt which is awesome it was a nice surprise i was putting it on i was like oh oh it's really comfy it's so nice look how nicely that fits it's slightly short for me maybe it's because i'm tall it's like pretty much like that's my bum there's nothing i can fault really about the skirt like i said there's a bit of an issue like with the stitching at the bottom but it's really not major and it's nothing that you wouldn't see in an affordable high street shop so moving on to this which looks very very cute they had so many things with like pearls on um they had so many things that were just so my style that i just don't see anywhere else which is why i'm just like really rooting for shein because i just want it to be nice so bad so this is the pearl beaded sleeveless dress and this was 12 pounds 44 so that's very cheap for a dress oh my god this is so nice this is super super soft okay yes it feels cheap i'm not gonna lie it feels cheap it's very soft though it's, it kind of feels like a blanket but i actually really don't think it looks cheap we'll see how it fits um because you never really know until you try it on it looks super super cute and again it looks exactly how it looked online so no problems with that at all you do get what you pay for in the end and for 12 pounds i actually think that's a really nice dress why am i a shein fan girl literally why is this the nicest thing like i've ever seen i'm so confused how one thing can be so wrong and one thing can be so right maybe shein's a little bit hit and miss and you do have to like give things a shot because i'm 100 percent gonna keep this it does not feel cheap um i'm wearing a top underneath it i just threw like a high neck on it is a little bit thin but it's like so warm because it's like this soft fabric and this is just answering like all of my 60s wishes. Like, I need to wear dresses like this 24 seven. I just can't believe, I'm like obsessed with Shein. I'm not even joking, they created like my dream dress. It does not look like it was a really cheap dress from China. 10 out of 10, literally, despite the price, I would give this dress a 10 out of 10. Next, I have this, and I can't really remember what this is. I'm gonna have a look on the website. The Shein Fringe Detail Zip back tweed dress which was 16 pounds oh this is oh this is so cute this is so nice do you know what this is nicer than it looked online it really is i am really actually quite happy with that for 16 pounds again you know it's kind of thin it's not the best quality but to be honest i had such low expectations for the quality of these items that i'm totally like not cross i'm super happy so yeah this is really really cute it looks really different again very chanel vibes um and gosh i hope that looks i hope that looks nice on because I, I really like that this is nice i really like this dress <gasps> how cute is this dress i got this in a small and i feel like maybe look an extra small would be cuter but on the whole i think this is such a cute dress it is a little bit itchy where it touches my body in fact actually it's an understatement it's actually it's itchy af but i would personally deal with it i wear uncomfortable clothes all the time it's just really cute it's unique it's smart casual and chic it's very thin but then again this kind of material if it was thick it would be so sweaty it would be so uncomfortable so i kind of don't mind the fact that it's a bit thin okay next i'm going to go for a pair of shoes <gasps> these look pretty these look Oh my god, these are so pretty. Look how cute they are. Okay, so I ordered these thinking I don't know if I would actually wear them, but they are so pretty. I just want to see what they are like in real life because I have never seen any shoes like this. 
they are just really, really unique. They had so many things on she and I can't describe it that were just not boring. I just feel like you go on so many like, you know, mainstream online fashion brands now and all the stuff just looks the same and it's just not my style. It's much more for like the Kylie Jenner styles of the world and it's just really not my thing. I feel so like bored and uninspired when I'm looking through. But like this website had stuff like this, like how cute and different are these. I don't know if I would wear them. They're kind of like Oliver Twist meets Mary Poppins meets Barbie. Like, I don't know if I'm feeling it, but the point is that they're really cute and unusual. And they were 30 pounds, which is $40, which, oh, I don't know if that's too expensive for these. I don't know. Cause again, it's more just about like the soles. Like do the soles look okay? These are not Shein brand. They're a brand called Soiree. I want to say Soiree, but I don't think it is Soiree. I think it says so free. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I so wanted them to be called Soiree. I should start a fashion brand called Soiree. It's actually quite a good name. I love the ribbon detail and I love this cute little frill. Actually, do you know what? For £30, I'm just going to go ahead and say yes to the boots because they're impressive and it's just so nice and refreshing to see stuff like that online. I'll do a bag next. I did just get this for a bit of fun because I thought, do you know what? It's actually kind of cute. I won't wear stuff like this. This is like a full on Barbie bag. This is, it's Barbie. So clearly they are trying to come up with some kind of like Chanel design. And I kind of like this. I appreciate this more because it's not so obvious. Um, they haven't tried to like imitate the logo, although on a couple of the bags they have pretty much done like a Chanel clasp. But obviously the kind of quilted design, the boxy kind of boy bag style is a copy of Chanel. If I was 15, I would be all over this bag. This would have been like my dream bag when I was 15. I mean, I still think it's really cute, but I wouldn't wear this because to be honest, it looks like a fake Chanel bag and I just don't think it's a good look. I think you're better off spending your money on something unique or something that looks nice rather than something that's clearly a fake copy of something else. That's just my personal opinion. It's the quilted flap crossbody bag with chain and it's 14 pounds. Okay, so this is a top and my first impression is that the color is a little bit off what it looks online, but to be honest, sometimes that even happens on ASOS, so I'm really not judging. Sometimes it happens. Um, this is kind of cute. I really like this. I'll probably actually keep this because I love just having basic tops like this that have a little bit of detail. It's just a high neck, like ribbed top, which I wear all the time, um, but it has a really cute little frill, um, like gather detail at the neck and also on the sleeves. It feels kind of like H&M quality. That's probably the best comparison I can find. But I like the top, it's cute. Okay, so this top is fine. Like it's very basic, so there's not a lot that can go wrong with it. It actually looks really cute. It's a really nice fit. The only thing is that when I do this and do that, it keeps on like bunching around my boobs and like I don't really have a lot of boob. But I actually think the top is really cute. You don't have to tuck it in. You could have it like this. You can see like the frill. Oh, okay, I've got something else, which is like tweed and pearls. Oh, it's a dress. Oh. <gasps> This is the cutest thing ever. Oh my God. This dress is life. This is so cute. You don't even know. Wow. So it's just this cream tweed mini dress with short sleeves, has all of this beautiful pearl detail around the neck on the sleeves and also these like kind of fake pockets. The quality of this dress. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest, it feels dreadful dreadful it feels it feels disgusting but it's so pretty that i don't know whether i would just like grin and bear it honestly it's such a pretty winter dress this is 19 pounds which is 25 dollars which it's overpriced it's overpriced because of the quality and i hate to say it because i actually i really love this dress the way it looks i just wish that it was more expensive basically and they could use nicer um fabric okay the way it looks is like my favorite dress ever it's like my perfect dress it's just so freaking itchy the only way i could wear this is if i wore something underneath like a t-shirt who knows what i'm supposed to do about this maybe i could get it lined could i get it taken to like a tailor would they line it for me tell me your ideas because i need this dress in my life it's like perfect okay so i'm on to the last um three things uh one is another pair of boots from soiree how did I read that as soiree? That just like shows the way my mind works. Um, it's so free. <laughs> right, let's have a look at these. Oh my God, I remember these. These are so cute. The boot selection is very good. 
<laughs> I love these. These are, these are cool. They're like half Chelsea boot and half like cowboy boot almost, like an ankle cowboy boot. I love the colour. It's a really gorgeous rose colour. Um, really good heel size. I can see a bit of glue, but I love the Diamante detail. They just look so snazzy. How cute are these shoes? Like, seriously. So these are the Rhinestone Detail Chelsea boots, and they were £31. I really like these boots, and I just think, you know what, even if they're not the best quality, sometimes it's worth it just to wear something that's a bit different, and very, you know, and you feel like your style. So... Thanks, Soiree, for your great shoes. Last piece of clothing, which is this. I think it's a skirt. Yes. This is the Shein Pearl Button Detail Ruffle Trim Tweed Skirt. And this was £11. It looks how it looked online. I like the pearl detail. I love um, how it's like a double-breasted skirt, but with a ruffle. The fabric doesn't feel great. I'm sure that goes without saying by now. But if you wore this, no one would know that it was cheap. This is really nice. Do you know what? I have to say it. So I'm trying to bend down so I can get like the skirt and my face in. It's really actually nice. To say this was like £11. It is a little bit tight. Um, it is an extra small. The other skirt was an extra small too. So maybe like their sizing isn't the most consistent. But it just looks really pretty and it doesn't look overly cheap. I would happily go out and wear this. It was £11. I'm kind of sad this has come to an end. This is a bag. And I don't, I actually have no idea what this is. I can't remember at all. I remember now. <laughs> Here she is. The mock Chloe Faye, about 20 sizes smaller than I thought it was going to be. So yes, as you can see, another pretty much straight copy. It's actually really cute. It doesn't feel that great. Um, I feel like this isn't such an obvious copy. You could kind of get away with this. I feel like the Chloe Faye bag isn't as widely recognised as like a Chanel boy bag. So I feel like you could get away with this more and it wouldn't look so like you were wearing a fake designer bag. It was 13 pounds 13 pounds yeah i'm gonna go with that i think that is probably about right 13 pounds it's very cute i would actually out of all the bags this is probably the best one this is really cute so that is the end of my shein unboxing try on review so i'd say the general um verdict is that the clothes look exactly how they looked on the website which is great because i know that like people do have issues with that with a lot of kind of like chinese websites the um pictures look totally different to what actually arrives at your house but these all looked just how they looked online some of them even looked nicer quality not great not very nice but like I said, you do get what you pay for, and I do feel like for what I paid, I don't feel like I've been ripped off. I feel like I've got what I paid for, so in that way, I'm satisfied. And the worst thing about the whole experience was definitely the shipping. Come on, Shein, get your act together, get some faster shipping. We want clothes, like, the next day. That's what we're used to. We're used to, like, next day delivery on ASOS. It comes in less than 24 hours, and I know, like, that's not possible because it's China, but, you know, you need to step it up. And yeah, I actually really love the things that I got. So it's all in all a positive review from me. I would recommend Shein on the whole. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really want to do it again. I have a few other brands up my sleeve that I do want to test, but please feel free to leave me your recommendations below and let me know which fashion brands you would like me to test. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And don't forget that all of the links to all of the products that I showed in the video will be down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.